Hello gamers and welcome to one more board game show. In today's episode we are going to be taking a look at the first expansion for Heart of Crowns, Far East Territory. Okay, let's have a look. First up we get a little mini rule book. Then next we get dividers. It's excellent that they it's excellent that they give you dividers inside the game. And now we have our deck of cards. Comes as a nice big deck like this. Okay, so we've got a card at the back. This one tells us that we get 61 cards, one princess card, 60 common cards, 12 types, 12 randomized cards, 12 dividers, and the rule book. Okay, so our princess we get is the Far East Princess of Sums Oka. Banish two cards from the other territories or curse cards from your hand, select one card from the market with a cost equal to the total cost of the cards you banished, minus one, add it to your hand. You can use this ability once during your main phase for each of your turns. Then we have the Greedy Fairy. Select one of the following effects. Pay one gold, put one coin counter in your coin area. This ability cannot put more than three coin counters in your coin area. Anytime you can remove one coin counter from your coin area to gain one coin, or pick any two counters of your own and remove them from the game. If you do so, Pick an other counter that you own and create a copy of it in the same location. Then we have the Carrier Pigeon. Select one of the following effects. Draw one card, or if you already played an action card this turn, select a non-territory card from your discard pile and add it to your hand. Uh, then second we have Levies. Uh, one gold. You may select a market stack that does not have the Levy token on it and place it on the, place the Levy token on it. Also, you are not affected by levy tokens this turn. The cost to buy a card from the market stack when it is a levy token on it is increased by plus one. When a stack runs out, any, any levy tokens on it are removed from the game. Then we have traders. One gold, uh, take two cards from the top of your draw pile and discard them. Then select one card from your discard pile and put it on top of your draw pile in a revealed state. Uh, archers. Uh, one gold, each opponent must reveal the top card from their draw pile. If the card revealed is a common card, you must discard it. If it is not, they put the card face down on the top of their draw pile. While this card remains in your play area, you gain one gold coin each time you play an attack card. This effect is cumulative. Uh, Apprentice Witch. Each opponent may reveal a curse card from their hand or discard pile. Those who do not immediately acquire a calamity type curse card, look at the top two cards on the draw pile. Pick one from your draw pile, pick one to add to your hand, and discard the other. Kunochi. Select one, kun one non-Kunochi action card from among those players have kept in their domains. You gain, the, you gain the effect of the selected card, and this Kunochi gains that card's card type. Uh, note that you do not blah, blah, blah. Uh, Port City. It's just a simple two gold. Then we have uh, Samurai. To gold, each opponent with five or more cards in their hand must select a card from their hand with a cost of four or five and temporarily remove it from the game. If they do not have any cards with a cost of four or five, they reveal their hands. The next time a player who has had a card temporarily removed by this effect refreshes their draw pile, they put that card in their discard pile before they shuffle. Uh, mining City. Uh, when you acquire Mining City, place two ore counters or in your mine area. Uh, it's got two and minus four of the crown. You may remove one ore counter from your mine area. If you do so, acquire a non-succession card from the market with a cost of up to five. Uh, then we have Tally. Select one of the following effects. Draw two cards or banish two cards with different names from, their hand, with, from your hand. Confederation. Declare a subtype. Each time you play or keep cards of that subtype this turn, place one succession point counter on the princess card in your domain. If you play two or more con Federations, you cannot declare the same subtype twice to get a cumulative effect. Subtypes include made, military, merchant, magic, strategic, etc. You cannot select main types like action, territory, succession, attack, etc. Then we have our draft cards, and that's it. So that's what you get inside the first expansion for Heart of Crowns. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.